do you want to talk a little bit more about your passion or some of these cool ideas you say you know some cool ideas you want to talk about some of these actual products yeah well you know um i kind of lean towards the, the energy efficient area you know renewables that sort of stuff as we as you know i mean that's a very hot topic has been for years um and sort of you know not bleeding edge stuff but more cutting edge technology i mean that's a dangerous game getting out there really you know but sometimes you get these new ideas and they uh there's not really a market you have to create the market too there's a need but there's not you know you have to educate people about new way of doing things so uh you know when the green energy area we've really looked at a lot of uh different products especially uh, uh manufacturers that are making things that uh use a lot of power you know um or are very expensive and not necessarily environmentally responsible uh so that's kind of an area that we really sort of focus on uh, one for example is a, a wind turbine uh, vertical axis wind turbine not the great big uh, horizontal axis ones where you see these great big propellers up in the, up in the sky uh, so we have uh, developed a pro proprietary design that we think works really well and isn't a big eyesore and doesn't uh, kill all the birds and bats and and uh, maybe a smaller scale uh, that we've developed and we've also combined that with another really amazing technology that we have in-house uh, that is a balancing a mechanical balancing device so we're able to put this automatic balancing device into the wind turbine as well so it's always continuously balanced and doesn't have a lot of vibration is much more energy efficient you know when you when you think of things that like your washing machine you know I don't know, you know, everybody knows a washing machine when it goes out of balance, it, it vibrates and it makes all this noise and it goes right across the room. You know, everybody knows this. So our amazing technology that we have, we can install that into something like a washing machine. We have done that. That's one of our other projects, actually. Um, so we can put that in there and it'll counterbalance whatever load and wherever it is and it automatically adjusts and you have this nice, quiet washing machine and it doesn't vibrate and it doesn't break down and and cause all these problems so you know that's one core technology that we have developed in inside of our company perpetual industries uh, that applies to so many different industries so when you think of all the things that spin in this world and are rotating everything from electric motors to fans to uh, washing machines uh, drive shafts airplane engines turbines it just is endless this amazing technology that we have that actually you can custom design for each application on our website there's a bunch of reports there we've we spent an awful lot of money and time uh perfecting it and doing all the r d and now we're at the stage where we can actually commercialize it and put it into certain applications um so the the wind turbine is an obvious one um you know we can spin because we're nicely balanced and uh, we don't have a lot of vibration which is just wasted energy right you're, you're pulling the the electricity and you're just wasting part of it it's not very efficient so by t making things spin without vibration and noise is energy wasted heat is energy wasted and all the wear and tear on the parts we're actually able to spin faster uh and at a lower speed which is great for wind speed coming in you can actually start generating power a lot quicker just because of the fact that we have this great proprietary technology this balancing device we call it xyo uh, that's the xyo mechanical balancer and it, and it fits on there so that's something we're developing right now and actually we've we have a strategic partnership with trine university down here in indiana um, we've got a great research facility here that we've set up uh, right right in the middle of the midwest here um, what a great place to start a business i tell you what it's it's low cost uh, I sound like I'm 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 working for the Indiana Commerce Board or something here, but I, I really we set everything up down here, research facility. You have access to great engineering mines and manufacturing all the way around us, and raw materials. And I mean, you couldn't be in a better place. So we're right here, and uh, of course we've teamed up with the university and all their engineering expertise to help us uh, do all the fancy modeling and and uh, finite element analysis and, and fluid dynamics and all, all the cool stuff that these guys know how to do uh, to help you know design these things and make them work. And then we wanna get them out into the marketplace and see them on people's uh, 
uh, acreages and, and things like that. So generating power um, and doing it efficiently. So we're kind of like making something that's already energy efficient, uh, more energy efficient, if you will. So it's kind of a double whammy for us when it comes to that. But that, that's, that's one of the projects that we're working on right now that we're excited about uh, big time. Yeah, no, it's awesome. You can, you bleed passion, I think is the saying, you know, you, you're, you're very passionate about it, which is awesome. And we'll go into, you know, some of the, of course, the, the technology that you guys are building in future videos, you know, I'm curious just for people before perpetual, you know, what were some of the, you know, products or companies you, you were a part of? Would, would anyone know of any, or, you know, the products you made, where, where are they now? You know, curious. Sure. You know, um, uh, there was an electrolytic, uh, target removing uh, product from England that, that I had uh, brought to Canada and sold, uh, you know, 300 different distributorships when I was younger. And, and this was a, a, a electrolytic action. You put it in the water and you could take your silverware and remove all the tarnish and all the, all the copper and all, the, all these different things that tarnish instead of scrubbing them and, and polishing them. You just put them in the sink with this plate and some uh, Calgon water softener in there, and it was able to just create those bubbles. And so we sold, we sold millions of those. I mean, th those were making people's lives way easier. So that was a really cool introduction, really, at my early stages. Uh, we had that all across the country and, and really sold a lot of that. Uh, and then after that, it led me into, you know, looking for other products and traveling. You know, I've done a lot of traveling. We used to go to the trade shows in, in Hong Kong and, and places like that. Um, and uh, uh, along my travels, uh, there, I don't know if you remember that TV show, it's called The Simpsons. Uh, <laughs> yep. So uh, 20th Century Fox and Matt Groening, they came out with this adult cartoon that was a little harsh back then. And they were going head to head against the, the Cosby show. And, and I thought, wow, this is really, really something. Things are changing here. Um, I gotta be part of this somehow. You know, I was a fan of the show when it first came out. Um, so I managed to secure the rights for uh, uh, all of their merchandising licensed products in Canada. And, and uh, that was a really, really uh, fun, fun time and a lot of real hard work because I didn't have, you know, all the distribution I needed. We used to we used to put all the labels on ourselves on the little printer and, you know, ship all the boxes out and bring in containers uh, into Vancouver and ship them all across the country to all the major retailers. So that was an incredible, incredible time. Um, and then of course, you know, I wanted something bigger and better, you know, let's, let's, let's take on the world with other, other stuff. So, uh, I, I, and ended up, you know, getting involved in international business and licensing technology and patents and a lot of that stuff, uh, ended up, you know, getting me into the door of, of all kinds of excellent companies out there, you know, everybody from Porsche, to Samsung, to Hitachi, to um, Siemens, Bosch, you name it. There's all kinds of the companies that I got to go in and visit with them and, and help them, you know, provide solutions that they could value add to, to what they're making as well. So that really, really was the big point um, when we ended up going to Geneva uh, for the inventors fair you know, that was there and we had a booth there and we showed our technology, our XYO balancing technology there. And we ended up winning a uh, gold medal uh, uh, for the invention, which was a, a, a highlight. It was just sort of endorsed what we were doing. It was worth it because these are all great engineering minds. And at the same time, we also won a German engineering award. So I'm very, very proud of, of that uh, to get that kind of, you know, endorsement uh, for what, what you're doing after you do all that hard work. It's, it's, it's kind of nice, you know? Yeah. Holy smokes. What a background, you know, with some working with some, you know, interesting products. I'm just telling you about the good stuff. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Actually the stuff that didn't work is a lot more interesting, but, but we'll just stick with the good stuff for now. How's that? <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I'm sure, uh, you know, people watching this, you know, whether it's a shark tank or dragon's dead, you see some crazy, crazy stuff on those shows as well. You know, even uh, there's always those crazy inventors that come in, they've got a bag full of things and like pick one. And there's like 10,000 uh, crazy things, which is hilarious. I'm sure we and then they just shoot them down, don't they? They just they get a dose of reality, you know? 
Yeah, and that's hey, true, but, at least uh, the products are sometimes cool. We'll talk about some of them, I'm sure, uh, you know, going forward. Maybe we can even pull up that episode and talk about some of the funny ones. But who knows, sure. in, in the future, people can maybe suggest some crazy ones they've seen. But you know, for working with some cool products, you know, The Simpsons, you name it, to obviously uh, kind of household name brands now. Mm-hmm.